Melinda Hill, and I have a comedy show called Tiger Lily. I found an alley out back where I asked people what they wanted to be when they grew up. This is all grows up. Please welcome Laura Keitlinger! Jeez, Melinda, I love your new office. What did you want to be when you grew up? I had to ask my mother because I couldn't remember. And she said I wanted to be a cashier. This is like when I was five or six. That's when she stopped um, paying attention to me. That's all she could remember either. I had this toy, uh, you know, cash register, and I would take things from the house and sell them back to her. So my bedroom was like a store. When a babysitter was coming over, I knew that meant she had a date. So then I would take her makeup and then, you know, put prices on them and make the, her buy them for, from me. And so she thought I might have uh, some financial, you know, acumen and be. Uh, I don't know, a banker or something, so she's disappointed. What kind of advice do you have for people aspiring? Doll, none, none. Get on the right meds. I want to ask you what you wanted to do when you were a kid. I aspired to be the world's youngest published author. Oh, that's fantastic. By second grade, I had not completed my novel because I didn't know how to write one, mm -hmm. so I felt like a failure. Oh, Lord. I didn't know how to finish things. Oh. I knew how to write them, though. God, that's me, even now. What is the craziest show or thing that's happened to you? I remember doing this show in Pennsylvania, and I was really afraid. It was a biker bar, and it was called Circle D's, and out front, there was a, uh, on the ground, there was a, a, like a marquee that said, free kittens, color me bad, and Laura Keitlingus. I went in and it was fun. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting, we didn't know. I feel comfortable when the trash is being taken out. What's the best job you've ever had? Uh, I was a punch-up person on Will and Grace. How'd you get that job? I got the job because of my lousy personality. I was on staff and I said something insulting to one of the writers. He said, well, they come out of the elevator, this and that, and I said, wow, that's a little convenient, isn't it? Another producer said, Laura, how about if you come in less? I said, sure. Brilliant. Yeah. My own rotten personality and, and you know, uh, my inability to, you know, kind of screen what I'm saying got me the best job I've ever had. <laughs>